Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be subtracting objects with our bool tool here. So let's just twiddle up our Suzanne here. And what we're going to do is place a cube where our 3D cursor is. So if we want to add an object, we could go up to the add drop down here. But like I said, I want you to get used to doing shift A to add. So shift A, and we're going to add a cube. And since our 3D cursor is at the bottom of our object here, we can add a cube. If your 3D cursor is not at the bottom, um, you can do shift S and send your 3D cursor to the selected. And if you did the challenge right in the last section, your origin point, let me just click over here, your origin point should be at the bottom of the head right here. Um, so we would do shift S, cursor to selected, boink, and we're gonna say, hey Blender, I wanna build something, I wanna add it right there. So we'll do shift A, mesh, and cube. So now we have a cube here. We've got our little cube drop down, and let's just scale that up. We're gonna have to do it pretty big, probably around maybe like 100 millimeters. We can just type that in, 100 millimeters, and then just click in this little box here. That way it doesn't go away. And what you wanna do is just make sure it's covering all the parts of the object here. We can go a little bigger, maybe 125, 125 millimeters. There we go. So that's looking good. And now let's just grab this with G and we can do Z to lock it on the Z axis and bring it to the bottom or the base of Suzanne's head. And we just want to cut off the bottom of her head to make it a little more flat and easier to 3D print. Um, so somewhere in that ballpark. And we don't have to be perfect. We can always go back and adjust this. And this is where uh, hopefully you'll see uh, the power of the brush booleans here. So just like before, we want to subtract this box from our monkey head here. So to do that, we're gonna click on the box and we wanna say, hey Blender, we want this box to subtract from this object. So just hold shift and click. So one and then two. And then now we want to do a brush boolean difference, and these are going to subtract. But you, you know, you can just hit this button. Uh, but I want, what I want you to get used to is using your keyboard. So you can call upon your brush booleans here with the keyboard shortcuts Control minus and Control plus. So for this one, we want to subtract. So we're going to do Control and minus. And looky there, you should get a nice clean cut at the bottom of your Suzanne layer. And what's really cool is that you can take these these this box layer, like here, you can click on the box wireframe, do G and Z, and re you know just auto update your booleans in real time. And this is one of the reasons I really love Blender. It just gives you so much fun and flexibility. So I still have the box selected, G and Z. And what I, you don't want to do is you see how this is like really thin right here. This may be too thin to print. So we want something you know. Just give it some thickness, like somewhere right in there. So now we've cut out the bottom. We've still got a little bitty hole right here. So I'm gonna go a little bit slower, a little bit lower, G and Z. And this is why I wanna teach y'all this flexible workflow, because if we would have used an auto boolean, it would have just chopped off the bottom there and we wouldn't have been able to go back and move this around if we wanted to. So we're pretty much going to always use brush booleans for most of our operations. There will be very few times we'll use the auto boolean um, once we get into more advanced lessons. But for now, I want you to really just stay with these brush booleans that are nice and open. So notice we've got our bool tool eyes is what we did first with the union. And then we've got our bool tool cube, which is this guy, and we have subtracted it with the difference. And you could always change it. If you wanted to add them together, you could do that too. But we just want to flatten the bottom. So that's a trick I use all the time when I want to just flatten my design and make sure it's a nice flat bottom for the base of our 3D printer. And the last step we want to do is just like we did with the eyes, say if we uh, hit G and grabbed our monkey. Notice the box is not coming with our design here. So I'll just hit escape. Um, what we want to do is parent the cube to Suzanne. Um, and we could just click on the cube, hold shift and drop it onto Suzanne. But I want to show you another way to do it inside your 3D viewport with your keyboard here. So one way you can do it is click on your cube. So go ahead and click on that cube and then shift click on the mother or the parent, which is Suzanne's head here. So notice we have both selected, and now you can do Control P to set parent. So we wanna set the parent to the object. So again, just Control P. And then now if we click on Suzanne's head, we can do G 
and everything will move together. And notice in our layers, the cube is now in there as well. So this is what I want you to get to. This is the challenge for this section is just make sure you have your eyes Boolean and parented to the head and that you have the box Boolean subtracted to the base and that everything is connected to the parent here, the Suzanne head. So everyone go ahead and try that. And if you're having any troubles, let me know up in the top right in the discussions and we will help you out as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and jump into the next section where we're gonna start adding really cool effects to this one design and making tons of different variations um, that you can 3D print. So let's go ahead and dive on in it.